Yeah! Come on in. Welcome, Moto TV, MTV. Get no, never mind. Uh, w welcome to the lab. This is our state-of-the-art culinary lab. So we have lots of toys around us to play with. For example, this guy right here is a freeze dryer. <clears throat> so, as you can see, we have a few things going in there right now. These are actually uh, grapefruit, like a salty grapefruit uh, kind of bitter foam that we whipped up and then froze with liquid nitrogen, put them in the freeze dryer. So it's actually removing any trace amount of, uh, of water from the foam, which is collecting in here. That's how the freeze dryer works. They suck out all the water and they freeze it around a coil. So when you, when you put one of these grapefruit foams in your mouth, it completely dissolves uh, very much like cotton candy but it's not nearly as sweet and it just has a beautiful kind of grapefruit finish. Yeah, check this out. This is cool. This is a big centrifuge. This is, uh, you know, we got the Sorval ST40 centrifuge. <clears throat> Waiting for the dubs for this one. Now this is kind of fun though, cause you can take these out. Uh, cause we don't really, use test tubes that much, especially for something like this. I figure if you have a cup this big to spin around at 4,000 RPMs, <clears throat> you might as well put your juice directly in here instead of messing around with these things. So what we'll do is we'll take these out, we'll fill them up with, um, I don't know, any, any liquid at all that we want to clarify. And it spins so fast that it pulls all the solid matter down to the bottom and compacts it into a little cake. So. Um, here's this thing. Um, you know, you always got to check out the fridge. We got some uh, organic milk, you know, some, uh, we got eggs and, uh, we, we got this cap. I, I don't know what that's for, but, oh, look at this. We got a special package from one of our friends, uh, Charles Lee of mberry.us. Look at that. Damn! Miracle berries. Nice. You gotta love it. And uh, over here, we have some high temperature thermometers. These, uh, these can actually read two temperatures at once. Solid construction, you know, these are built for, uh, for places like, uh, you know, NASA and uh, Skunk Works and the CIA. I mean, whenever you're, you're in a pinch, you need to read a temperature like 2,800 degrees. That, that's what you're gonna use right there. Over here, we got this prototype Hobart mixer. Uh, this is really cool because it's the, the first mixer on the market. It's not even on the market. We, we got this thing given to us because the good people at Hobart, man, they know a good thing when they see it. So they just gave this to us. And when you hook this bad boy up, you can just tell right away that this is not your ordinary mixer. So let's, uh, let's, let's just hear this puppy run. This is like the Cadillac of mixers. I mean, you don't hear any gears sort of, you know, grinding. Uh, it's all electronic speed control, so it's like the uh, the Tesla motors, if you will, of of mixers, and it's just so smooth, and you can pulse it, you know, if you uh, if you just want to do a little bit of mixing, or you just want to go, you know, 80 miles an hour, bam, it's right there. And then right here, this is a uh, this crazy uh, device right here. It says "Do not clamp here," you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we clamped it there. This is a sonifier or a cell disruptor. And what this is used for in laboratories is it actually, when you turn it on, it produces a sound wave out of this tiny little gap right there at 22,000 kilohertz. Basically, if you took an oyster shell and you put this thing up against it, it'll drill a hole in an oyster shell with nothing but sound waves. That's just, uh, I don't even know who thought of that, but. It's pretty cool. So right here, uh, we got the Branson 55. Sonicating bath, you know, if you got, you got some bling, 
You know, this is what they use in jewelry stores to clean your bling. Um, you, you definitely want to have that. For food purposes, we can sanitize things instantly without having to really, you know, run them through hot water or cook them technically. It'll use a sound wave to break apart particles, uh, bacteria, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. And uh, that, that's important for our purposes because we like to do low temperature cooking sometimes. And on occasion, we may need to sanitize that using some ultrasonic waves. And whoa, look at this over here. Man, our boy. He just keeps coming through. This is like the suitcase in uh, Pulp Fiction. You know what I'm saying? We got Miracle Berries galore. We got them freeze dried. Look at that. Oh, nice. And, uh, you know, the boy just keeping it real over there, Mr. Lee. So, coming to a theater near you, Miracle Berries and uh, the Lab at Moto restaurant. Peace.